Hello and welcome everyone to my next spray paint video. This is going to be one when I just paint any old way I want. I'm just going to go with the flow. Complete and utter randomness, like, comment, subscribe. And I'm just going to be painting anything, colours, textures, doesn't matter. But stick around to the end and you'll see how all this nonsense takes shape and we create a lovely piece of art. So sit back and relax for about 5-6 minutes. Nice and easy one to do. You want to try this yourself if you're a beginner spray paint artist, this is the perfect one to try because it's pretty simple and easy to do. So thank you for watching, stick around to the end and give me a like and a thumbs up. Thank you! You see where it's going, eh? Yeah, check it out. Everyone knows who they are. In this paint you've seen before, it's called crackle paint, and you spray it on nice and thick, and as it dries, it starts to crack and break apart, and it leaves a nice effect. Whatever colour you've sprayed underneath will start to show through. I really like this effect for these paintings, it gives it a kind of more interesting border than just plain white or a plain colour. Oh, really smelly this stuff though, really bad. Get the mask on, get it on tight, and sometimes I even run out of my garage just to get away from the smell of this stuff. It'll knock you out in 10 seconds flat. You might hear some background noise today because I'm watching this time it's Doug Demuro. I always watch car stuff when I'm doing spray painting. I don't know why, I just like to watch car reviews and things about cars and fixing cars. So last week it was Hoovy, this week it's Doug. Maybe the week after I'll maybe watch Legit Street Cars if he comes out with a new video, so that's what we'll do. Okay, almost done with this crackle paint. You'll see it's starting to break up already. Usually what I'll do is I'll have to let it dry just in the air by itself or I'll stick the hair dryer on it or the heat gun and the cracks will appear a lot quicker. So I'll just let that one dry off a bit and then you take off the stencil. Get those weights out of there. And voila! There they are, look at that. Nice crisp edges, nice crisp lines. And all that random painting we did before is now starting to show through. 
Excellente! All that's left to do now is put the John Hancock on it. There we are. And that is done. How long did that take? That video is not sitting at 5 minutes and 10 seconds. That's all it takes. Minus the cutting of the stencil. Okay, I did that in advance. That only took me about 10 minutes to draw and cut. So we'll add that on. But next time you paint it, you've got the stencil there ready for you. I'm just going to give it a nice clear coat which when you frame it makes it all nice and shiny and looks very very professional indeed. So hope you enjoyed this one, like, comment, subscribe and make sure to check me out on Instagram, it's just at Spray Art Guy and I've also got my Etsy store, I'll link it below in the description if anyone wants to check out the paintings that I have for sale including this one. I think my next video I'm going to do a tutorial on three or four different ways to paint mountains and that will go along nicely with my six different ways on how to paint planets video if you haven't seen that one check it out. Look at this one, there we are, done, there they are, figures, crackling paint coming in around them, all that random painting we did showing through in the middle, nice and simple, one stencil and that only took five minutes to actually paint. Done! There we go, that's brilliant. Thank you very much for watching. This is Spray Art Guy signing out, and I will see you in the next video. Ciao!